Hey guys, Logan here with Logan's Tech Feds. Today I'm going to show you how to create a RAM disk on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. And this works for both 32 and 64 bit systems. Now, essentially, what a RAM disk is, is it's a virtual drive that is stored on the RAM, which allows you to store files on the RAM and run applications on the RAM. Now the advantage of this is, is the fact that it's faster than uh, a traditional hard drive. It's even faster than a solid state drive. So uh, it's very cool. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do in order to create this RAM disk is obviously uh, open a web browser to download the software. So in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. It doesn't really matter what browser you use, I just use Chrome. So and then the website you want to navigate to is softperfect.com slash products slash ram disk and then just hit enter the next thing you want to do is click download and then once you find ram disk in this list just click download and more info and then scroll down download RAM disk and then all you have to do is when that's done downloading is just click on it and you will probably be prompted with a user account control prompt but I have UAC prompts disabled on my computer so you obviously didn't see that um, I have RAM disk installed so I'm not go going to go through the installation process but essentially it's just clicking next next and next until it's done and then you have it installed so I'm just going to click the X here on this and then you can close out of your internet browser now once that's installed do you want to either go to your start screen or your start menu and type in uh, soft perfect RAM disk and then hit enter or click on it whatever you want to do and then um, once you're presented with the screen the next thing you want to do is click the screen plus button and then it's going to ask you how big you want to make it for the sake of this video I'm only gonna make it 512 megabytes I have 64 gigs but I'm not gonna make it that big so I'm just gonna put 512 and I'm going to mount it as drive letter M you can pick whatever drive letter is available to you and you can mount it as a removable drive uh, and when you mount it as a removable drive it will show up as like a flash drive or an external hard drive or something so then just click that now I don't recommend doing hard disk emulation obviously since it's slower but if you do do hard disk emulation it will obviously show up as a hard drive the next thing you want to do in creating your RAM disk is choose the file system. So you just click this drop down. Um, I think any of these will work, but I'm just going to use NTFS because I know it works well. So I'm just going to click NTFS. And then there's uh, advanced options here if you want to look at those. And now that you have all the basic options picked out, you can just click OK and your RAM disk will be created so obviously your RAM disk was created now if you want to say for example delete a RAM disk you just click delete disk and then this button here will refresh your disk list and uh, this here will mount the selected disk now what I'm trying to do is just give a quick overview of the options obviously there's more at the top but I'm not going to go over those now that now that you have your drive created just click on your file explorer and pick removable disk whatever lever, letter you named it and now your RAM disk is created so you can just close out of software effect now it's probably going to prompt you to say that it will uh, minimize it to the tray that's fine it'll still keep running uh, and there you have it you have created uh, your first RAM disk now one thing I want to note is that basically this RAM disk is temporary storage 
So every time you restart the computer, the contents you have on the RAM will be erased since uh, nothing is stored permanently in RAM. So it just clears it out every time you reboot the computer. But this is good for like running simple applications and such. So there you have it. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.